Hey, Stu here from Type. I'm excited to show you our new autocomplete feature. Uh, you've probably used autocomplete that can guess your next few words, but what if autocomplete could, right, let me turn it on, could guess your next few thoughts. Meet autocomplete and type. Let me show you how it works. It's super simple. You just start typing. And then when you stop, autocomplete will try to complete your current thought and then generate the next few thoughts that you might have. You just hit tab to accept anything you like, and at any time, you can get back and start typing. So this is kind of what it looks like in practice. I'm writing a story here. I'll do the first bit of this writing myself. I'll say, once upon a time, there was a fish named, and here I might want a suggestion, Swimmy, great name. I'll hit tab to accept, and if I do that, Autocomplete will know, okay, we like the swimmy thing. Let's go down that avenue. And I can just keep hitting tab as autocomplete goes further and further down a line of thought. But at any time, I can just jump in and start writing myself. So here, he was particularly intrigued by the wise old sea turtle. Now autocomplete will know, all right, we want to talk more about this sea turtle. Let's go in this direction. And I'm hitting tab as I go to accept any suggestions I like. And autocomplete goes beyond just writing the next sentence I'm working on. It can also generate tables, code blocks, math blocks. Here I'm writing a blog post where I'm comparing type with some other products and I maybe wanna add a table to a section. I can just start writing as if I'm gonna create the table myself and autocomplete will come fill in the blanks for me. This table summarizes and autocomplete's trying to anticipate what I probably want in that table. And I'll hit tab as it gives me suggestions and it'll go as far as actually generating a preview of the table and I can hit tab to accept that. And now it's in my documents and I can just edit it myself. Here I'm writing a technical tutorial and I'm writing this first section where we need some HTML code and autocomplete is gonna jump right in, give me the code snippet it thinks I need, have a follow-up sentence that kind of describes what that code does. And it takes a pretty good guess at what section we should write next, which in this case is adding a JavaScript function that actually makes our app interactive. This is great, but I think next we need to write a section about styling and CSS. So I'm gonna jump in myself and just write a section header, like adding some CSS. Now autocomplete's gonna jump in and know, all right, we're talking about CSS and styling next. So I'm just gonna hit tab as it gives me these suggestions. And similar as before, it looks like it's starting to give me some code, including some pretty detailed CSS. And these are all editable code blocks. So this is kind of the interplay between, you know, writing and autocomplete. You can think of it as a nice middle ground between writing it from scratch yourself or going back and forth forever in chat. You're basically steering the whole thing as the draft gets created. And we've built some polish into the experience. So autocomplete actually won't give you suggestions if it feels like it really doesn't have the context it needs to give a useful suggestion. Like here I'm writing a diary entry, dear diary, today I feel blank. Autocomplete is not gonna tell me how I feel. I have to give it a little bit more than this for it to start jumping in and giving suggestions. But anytime you can turn off autocomplete by just tapping this icon up here and you may still wanna use it occasionally as you work. So for that, you can force it to run by hitting shift tab and it'll run once, but it won't stay on. So we are super excited to hear what you think. Let us know and happy writing.